Hey everybody, uh, today we are going to uh, talk about the console, the instance console that's available in OpenStack. Uh, if you did the the same install I did, the Ubuntu landscape uh, OpenStack install, if you go into your instance and you go to the console screen, you'll notice that you get this message. Uh, it's because it's not set up by default. Uh, so I wanted to walk through the steps of of how to get this set up so that we can use it. Uh, the console will require a login and password. Uh, so your machine, you, since we use SSH keys to log in to most of the instances, uh, you'll actually have to go into the instance, create a put a floating IP on there, and uh, uh, add a username and password if you want to use the console. But at least you can view the console from here after we set it up. Uh, so you can see if, if things are going wrong with the machine while it's booting or or things like that. So let's get going. Uh, first off, OpenStack guide. Um, this is the guide on everything about the VNC console and, and how it works. Uh, basically you have two pieces that you need for this particular install. There's, there's a few different moving pieces. But the main one is Nova console auth. Uh, so you'll have to install that package and then it will be running as a Nova service. Uh, so let's open up Mass. And that open. So the console auth will run on the cloud controller. Let me get my Juju open. And as you know with Juju, we can just go to these portions uh, by their name, which is handy. Over here. Okay, so we want to install that console auth on the cloud controller. So and there's only one cloud controller in this configuration okay cloud controller and just a simple uh, apt install let's grab what that's called again yep nova console auth this is the service that does all the work. So we're going to install that on the cloud controller. Now let's grab another one of our commands here. Uh, we want the service. We're just going to list the services. I got to update that command to the different IP and password. It's 145 now. Okay, we just want to do a service list. And there's console auth. If we would have looked at this before, it wouldn't have been there. So we have a, a new service. It's up. It's functioning. Also, just a note, uh, this really helps troubleshooting. If you go to the OpenStack dashboard, and go to admin, and go to system information, this will tell you the condition of all the services that are running behind the scenes. Uh, compute service, see there's console auth, we added it to that machine, it's up. Uh, net, especially coming in here to network services, this can be really handy uh, and we'll go through a, another tutorial at a later date on, on how this stuff kinda works. But for now, so we have the console auth piece. You also need the proxy piece and I think it says something in here about the proxy architecture so if you keep going down in here, it'll tell you the typical deployment. So you also need Nova, no VNC proxy installed, uh, and install it on the cloud controller as well. So let's take a look. Now the proxy is just a service that runs, but you don't see it in the Nova list. But you can re you know, just do a service restart and things like that. But if you notice it's not out here in the list and I'm not sure why 
uh, it seems like some services don't don't show up you know in these lists but anyway it's there so we got it installed now let's see what's next so just kinda go down this list and that's good uh, and then configuration options so a lot like with anything with Nova we're gonna have to edit the nova.com file uh, the big one here is this proxy address this has to be f the address of the cloud controller and then you have a proxy client that this will have to be the address of compute node 0 now once you set it for compute node 0 uh, it will allow you to get to the other compute nodes as well uh, so as we do any Nova uh, nova.conf changes we do them from Juju so let's take care of the compute nodes first and here's our options list down here and we're gonna add some things I found this OpenStack answers um, very helpful and I'm gonna put the link out here but it kinda shows you exactly what you need to do for controller and compute so we want to do VNC enabled to true we want to set the Nova proxy address to the cloud controller node I think it was 144, and you'll know this by when you do these Juju SSH. It'll step you through what the machines are. Uh, yeah, 144. There's when we did that cloud, when we went to the cloud controller to get to 144. Okay. Then. We want to set the VNC server to listen for any address and we want to set this the proxy client address to the address of the Nova compute the first Nova compute node 0 which uh, if you need uh, I'm gonna go ahead and punch it in and then I'll show you how you can get it it's 153 so that's the main address of the machine so we'll save the change so if you need that address go to machines and find it uh, compute node 0 so it's on machine 1 or the easiest way would be to come here and then I'll tell you what the address is okay so that's good for Nova Compute. Now we need to edit Cloud Controller. So let's go to Cloud Controller. And we have to add a lot of the same options here. So config flags. Let's pull up our little guide again. Uh, we want to set the proxy host to anything to, to open and then set the port to 6080 that's the default port and the non-proxy URL uh, we want to set it to the cloud controller IP itself so again that was 10.1.1.144 save these changes and let's commit them. Commit. Uh, keep an eye on this because Cloud Controller likes to go hook failed when you make configuration changes. So keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't go red. We'll check him again in a second. But now is also a really good time to uh, restart the services of the compute nodes. Uh, let's see. So first of all let's 
check and make sure the Nova comp file was updated correctly on one of the compute nodes. So let's cat that file. What machine am I on? I might have jumped back one. Oh no, I was in uh, client the controller, cloud controller. So this is where we need to be. Uh, just the internal landscape. So there's the file. Uh, there it is. So yes, it, it added our updates. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the services for all the compute nodes just to make sure everything took all the changes we made took compute node 0 Compute node one, compute node two. I think we have three now. Compute node three. Okay, that's good. Now let's go back to. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about when you make changes. The cloud controller sometimes it goes red and gets into trouble. So just resolve it. Not sure why it does that. Okay, now we're green again. Let's go back to the OpenStack dashboard. Take a look at services here. Uh, we're all enabled, compute services. Everybody's up, enabled, that's good. There's our console auth. Storage should be good, network should be good. Okay. Let's go to an instance, and I've got one down here I wanted to use, this one, and he is up, let's check his console, and there it is. So now, we have a console. I believe we'll have to reboot this instance. Uh, if you want to go to a full screen mode, do this, click there. So that's good. Let's hard reboot this guy. And then we should be able to see the activity on the console. I believe you'll have to do any, after you activate any instance that you created before we did this console work, you'll have to reboot it to get the console to jump up. So let's go back to it and go to the console. There's our activity. It's a great way, if you're having problems with an instance, to figure out what he's complaining about. Click here. And I'm going to open him back up in the full view again. And there it is. So, again, I got on here associated a floating IP and added a user ID with SSH. You might have images that you've changed that don't always use the key, the SSH key share, uh, but you can do it either way. Uh, but you have to have an ID added because of the configuration that Landscape uses. So that's it for consoles, guys. All of this stuff will be on the website. Uh, hope you can follow it. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching.